Welcome to the Forex, and here we're looking at the uh, the US dollar. Now, we're looking for a possible low here and on, on support, and um, as I mentioned the other day, there's a trend line coming through, a daily trend line coming through, sort of supporting this particular area uh, just below the, the 80 here, and we do have a little five-wave sequence to finish off uh, wave five here. Now, this morning when I was looking at this, I could see that we had five waves up through here. So if we get five here, we can get another five here. But that's as far as we can predict, okay? Um, however, this little move here is quite strong here. So it's really got the personality of a third wave rather than a wave C. So one, two, three, four. If we get, I mean, that much we can do is say, if we get this fifth wave here, then because we get, I mean, I'll start again. Because we get five waves here, we can predict another five here, okay? Beyond that, uh, we can't, but we can look at the personality. So we can look at the personality of this wave structure here, which is very strong. It's stronger than this one here. So it's got the personality of a, of a third wave rather than a C wave. So it swings the bias to having a larger structure, as I've just outlined here, the one, two three, four, and five. And if this is the case, then because we get five waves here, that means we'll get some type of uh, ABC correction across here, pulling back 40 to 60%. And then we'll get another five waves up through here. <clears throat> now, if that's the case, then <clears throat> you should be able to work out all the other crosses from that point there. So it's really at this juncture here that is the deciding factor. So the rest of what we talk about with the forex uh, as such is is just a little bit hearsay. Um, so this is what we this is what you need to look for in the next session. Okay. Now uh, that said, here uh, if that's not the case, then uh, the uh, euro here will be um, an A and a B and a C here on the 15 minute chart here and pushing up higher from here. Um, as it stands, if that's a five wave structure for the uh, US dollar, then we'll see this market here rally here back into supply area here somewhere, pulling back 50, 60 percent of this, uh, this structure here and then rolling to the downside through here. So you could say that low being taken out there would be one short uh, aspect there. Um, yep, yeah, the Australian dollar uh, with the US dollar moving up as the, the, this one here would also be moving down as well. Um, just a little bit unsure of that one. I, I'm okay with <clears throat> this with this particular structure here and I understand all of that degree there. We know that. But this little degree here, it, it's just not quite clear to me just yet. It labels nice as a five wave structure, which would make this next structure an ABC. So an A wave an A and a B and a C here, and then the C wave here for this one here. And as long as it doesn't breach this one here, then it's actually still a bullish structure and we'd be looking for a 60 you know, odd percent retracement level uh, from here as such into you know, the 50, 60 in, in, in here, but I'd want to see it low take out this here. So like I mentioned before, it's flicking across a large number, 90, and we don't have a we don't have this level as a you know real retested support or resistance. If that B wave there that got taken out with a move up through there, that's the trigger to go long from there. Um, we'd need to see the same on the other side in due course for uh, for the ninety. So um, you know uh, a move down, a move back, retesting it. And once we've got that point here in, then we can look to take that low out at that at that stage there. Um, you know, there's other ways to, to count this too in a more bearish stance, and that would also be uh, down for one here, back for two, then one, two, three, four, and five coming down like that as well. But either way, you need a setup to, to get in. So the B wave top for the long, and then waiting for something to settle into this area through here as coming down, finding support, retesting on lower volume, and then moving down from that point. Uh, the Euro Australian as well. Uh, well, the situation here is that um, it, it does appear we got the five waves up through there. I thought it would have gone further from the, the 153 when we were talking about going along yesterday from here. Um, but what occurs now is that it does appear that we got five waves down through here. And if that's the case, then we'll pull back 50 or 61.8, you know, thereabouts, whatever. Um, and that's there now. So uh, if that's the case, then we'll see this move down in five waves. Now, this this wave two here, so this would make this the the 
the A wave, the B wave, and the C wave down to here. This is the 61.8 retracement level here. So down into this point or to the 50 here, somewhere in here, and then a move up from that point there. Uh, just drilling into this a little bit closer through here on the five minute chart. This is um, this is the five wave structure I see to the downside. So we've got down to the one, two, three, four, and five. So we'll be looking because we've got five waves in the opposite direction. We'll be looking at um, at this as a uh, corrective move here, which would probably be us in uh, most likely the A, the B and the C here, and this would be in five waves here. And, and as I just mentioned, this was <clears throat> the 61.8 retracement level here. However, if I am wrong, then we need a plan for that. So the, the plan would be on this number here, the 5272. So when we get 272 and 772, to, uh, those those type of numbers, um, they're stronger than the normal 72. So if this, this became the support here, uh, then go long from this point. Otherwise, we'll see this move to the downside. Uh, the yen crosses the the pound yen starting with the pound yen um, looking uh, you know if I've got uh, got the US dollar moving up well then this this should support that as well so I'm also you know we were looking for wave three high um, and then we're looking for a corrective move back and um, we've got this corrective move here but it's a little bit iffy because it can be counted as like one two, three, four, and five. It's not a very good third wave. It's kind of time consuming long enough, but it's the shortest wave from wave one and three, five here. So it doesn't count very well as five waves. So I've counted down as an A and a B and a C. And if that's the case, what we'd be looking for here is this strong move up here in basically five waves moving up. Now those five waves could be completed in there, or we may just be at the third, fourth wave here, and then moving up from that point there. So just drilling into this uh, here somewhat. <clears throat> I think we're just in the top of the third here uh, uh, as such. So, um, you know, but you wouldn't want to go long unless you had uh, this, the closest largest number here, 171 as support. So while it's not support, uh, it will, you know, it's, it's still moving to the downside somewhat. Uh, just have a look at the euro yen. Okay, well that that pound yen should move up because um, this this one here we've got five waves up here. We've got a pullback here, and we've got this move up through here. So just drilling into that a little bit here. Um, this is the the A, the B, and the C for the corrective move. So it's the same as the pound yen, but the euro yen's got a better shape to it. So uh, just drilling into this little section uh, here. This has got a cleaner five waves up uh, as such in terms of um, up for one here, back for two. This is all the third wave here, the fourth wave here, and the fifth wave here. The third wave's got one, two, three, four, and five in it. So the 50% retracement level is here, the 61.8 is here, but I would say that it's, it, this, this can be it here, the A, the B, and the C wave here, unless we're going to get a larger C wave in terms of one, two, three, four, and five, which is possible. So once again, the way to handle the situation is the 140.72 as a retested support. Otherwise, you need to look to the downside for this. So it's not that you should short it because we don't really have a setup. The short would come uh, really from, uh, well, you take out this low here, I guess. I'll just clean this up here. And the reason for that is that this is the previous low, this little guy here because it's basically retested the 140, 140.72, moved down and then retested the 65 here, the other level in group two here. So that uh, figure there, that low of 140.57. So one, yeah, uh, 53, yeah, so yeah, 56 would be fine for that point there and keeping the stop above that would be the way to trade that. But you are trading against the trend, so against okay, this trend, so that's a bit dangerous. So better off just allowing this to uh, complete here and then looking to the upside from that point there. Alrighty, um, 
just want to have a look at the Swiss franc one here, right? Okay, that's got support here too. It's just it's just behind the US dollar. But we've got from this point here, we've got a nice uh, nice third wave ABC for the fourth and the fifth here. So we are getting that bounce here. It, like I said before, with the US dollar, it's just a matter of like, will we get this or will we get the five waves here? That will make all the difference. And it needs one session to play out. So... Um, just have to 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 uh, to play that out. All right. Cheers.